Hello, I'm Father Tim Shuttlewood and I'm from St. Finbar Seminary on Inishmore. I'm Father Connor Clasey from St. Austin's Seminary on Inishmore. This is, we had great fun actually. It was a match between the two seminaries, and uh, here's uh, John Aldridge was managing my crowd. Welcome to Craggy Island. And you, you're not where right. Tony Casquino was in charge. Didn't have the same authority, didn't have the moustache. The match is scheduled to kick off 3 o'clock, 15 minutes each half. If it's a draw, we're just going to go straight to penalties. I always think that gives a bit of authority. He can't figure out whether he's Stalin or Hitler, I think. Uh, <laughs> he's sort of caught between the two. He was certainly a bit dictatorial with the players anyway on the day. There's some of the locals and there's the long walk to the to the yeah. beach. They're very cocky now. I prefer them before they could read or write. And the usual crowd, the usual suspects turning up. It's beautiful though. I mean, it reminds me of... Do you know where it reminds me of the place? Iwo Jima. When I yeah. first arrived, I thought... Iwo Jima. Yeah. You know, of course, I saw the film lately, and um, of course, the minute the Japanese general arrives, he says, I want tunnels dug. And of course, the lads go straight out and they dig them for him. <laughs> when I arrived on the island, I said, I want them dug as well, I want tunnels. I, I, you know, and of course, fell on deaf ears. <laughs> the old parish priest said to me, You don't want tunnels around here. You dig tunnels, you know what they'll be used Drink for. and drink and yeah. drink, drink, of course. It's on drink. Of course, they're never allowed to sit on that wall. There wouldn't be as many of them there. That would be, it's not for the match. A lot of them would be there so they could sit on that wall, which they're not Just to sit allowed. down, because a lot of them would spend a lot of time just walking around. That's your man, Galeen, isn't it? Did he cut his hair, or is there something wrong with him? There's a one nil, I think, to my crowd. Or is it, yes, one nil. I'm one nil up now. <laughs> She's pestering him for tea. Oh, we better listen to this now. A very, very important speech from John Aldridge. Just, just get it forward and then join in. But don't leave yourself exposed at the back because if you go 2 nil down with them small goals, it'll be hard to get two goals back. <laughs> oh, he's, she's Hands annoying him. <laughs> she's Hands annoying him again. He's not interested. Go on, go away. I just want to talk to the lads. He's the type who'd have his hands in his pockets at mass. He'd be gospel shy. He would be gospel shy. He'd stand at the back. Oh, he doesn't like the tea. Anyway, we're off the second half now. Very long the trip. in the pockets all the time with him. You know, mm. it's probably very cold though. And he'd be, he's has he played abroad? I think John Aldridge played in Spain, so he would have got a touch of the heat there. <laughs> That's a goal now. Tremendous excitement. Tremendous excitement. 2-0 to my crowd. <laughs> You're not singing anymore. It's an awful surface, isn't it? It's like the moon. God, we thought, um, when you think of it in the 60s, we thought that one day we'd probably have a parish up there. And the moon, that's right, it never happened. You applied to go to the moon, though, didn't you? Did I, you get? You didn't get to go, did you get? No, I never. You got as far as did. you got as far as Claire Morris, I think, and you had to turn back. Yeah, we were on our way, but I got a call from NASA to say the whole thing was off. It was off. Yeah, yeah so you never got to the moon. Trying to walk it in, really. 